So I've got two video files here that I want to convert to MP4 because MP4s are a bit more universal and they can play on a lot of different things. And also things like Facebook like things to be uploaded in MP4. And this file here is a flash file, FLV video file. And this one here is a QuickTime MOV file. Now, if you're doing this on a Mac, I'm doing this on Windows 10 here. But if you are doing it on a Mac, then there's a link below to doing this on a Mac. But I'm gonna use the same bit of software, which is this one here, VLC Media Player. Now, VLC Media Player, you may have used it, is very good for playing videos of all sorts of different formats. So if you're ever stuck playing a video, this is the one to use. And again, there is a link below so you can download it there. And it's free. I'm gonna use it to convert these two files. I'm gonna do them one at a time. So I'm going to just click here on Media and go to the Convert Save option. Now, there's two ways I can do this. I can click on Add or I could just drag them across. But for the first one, I'm just gonna click on add. So let's click on add here. It takes me here into my folder, which I've already got open. And I'm gonna click on this first one here, broadband help 001, it's the flash file. Let's click on open. I don't have a subtitle file to add here. Now, under show more options, the only thing I'm really interested in is the start time and the stop time. Now the stop time is just showing zero because it doesn't know the stop time. But basically you could put in the times that you want to get it from. So if you want to start it after one minute, you could just change that to one minute and you can specify the seconds and the fraction of a second for the start and stop time if you know them. So it will only convert those. So I'm just gonna do zero and zero and so it's gonna do the whole lot. Don't worry about all of this other stuff like the caching, the MRL and the edit options. Let's just untick that. You don't have to untick it before clicking on the convert and save. So I'm gonna click on convert and save anyway. And here it's showing me the source. That's the file that we added. And you've got various options. Now you can display the outputs, which I find sometimes doesn't work, but it does slow down the conversion. So I'm not going to tick that because I don't need to see it, I'm gonna see a progress bar anyway. Now deinterlace, the best way to describe whether you need this or not is if you output it, convert it, and then you play it back and the lines, the horizontal lines are all zigzaggy and all a bit out of shape, then you need to come back and tick the deinterlace. Basically it's a bit of a legacy thing from, mainly from videotapes, and depending on how you captured it, might mean that you've got to deinterlace it. I could go into a lot more detail about it, but that's all you really need to know. I then need to come here to profile. Now it has remembered what I did before and I have used this earlier today. And I'm looking for the MP4 file and I can click on this drop down box and see other options. I don't want any of these, it's the MP4 that works really well. The other one that you might be interested in is if you're just doing a podcast, and you just want to convert it to an MP3 file, then you might want to consider choosing that option there. But let's leave it here on the MP4. That's the one we're going to use here. Okay, so what we now need to do is choose a destination file, and that's where it's going to be saved as well. So let's click on Browse. And I just need to change the name of the file here, otherwise it's gonna try and overwrite it. It's going back into the same folder. I could have chosen another folder and then I could have had the same name. But let's leave it as it is and let's just click on save. Now, when I click on start, you're going to see this progress bar going across here. And you can see it's not moving too fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back when it's finished. Okay, and it's done. Here is the file here. And as you can see, that's one that I called converted and it's now showing as an MP4 file. So let's do the same again for this one here. This is the QuickTime MOV file. I'm gonna come back to VLC Media Player. I'm gonna click on Media. I'm gonna click on Convert Save. And you'll see it's got the one that I had before. I'm just going to remove that so that there's not any confusion. I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on this Remove button. And I'm going to just go over to here and click and drag this across. And you could do more than one file at a time. 
We saw the options before. I don't need to choose any of those. I'm going to click on my Convert Save option here. So let's do that. Once again, here is the file. It's remembered the profile. So just a quick reminder, I've got some profiles down here. I want the MP4 one. If you do want it as an audio file, then it's the MP3 option, which is the one that you want if you want to do just that. Let's just leave it on the MP4. I need to choose a destination file, which also chooses the folder. Let's click on Browse. It's putting it into my training folder, and I'm just going to call this one Lake. So let's click on Save. This is a smaller file, so it might just go really fast. Let's click on Start. Here is the progress bar down here. And wow, it's done it already. That was really quick. So here it is. This is my MP4. So there you have it. That's how you can convert your files over into an MP4 format, which is a bit more universal, plays on lots and lots of different devices. FLV files, particularly the flash ones, they're kind of not that popular anymore. And for many, you do actually have to convert them. If you do like this, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.